My very apparent lymph nodes have dissipated. My night sweat, my random passing out on the couch or the office chair had disappeared. Now, was that a miracle or is that true health? I'm gonna say it was true health and I'm gonna to explain to you why. Very important to understand, February 8th is when I got my call on the biopsy. May 8th is when I started treatment, medication treatment, cancer treatment. And prior to May 8th, it was all true health. In those three months, this is what transpired. And I just mentioned that. Lint nose disappeared, golf ball sized lint nose disappeared. Night sweats disappeared. Night sweats that had been going on for almost a year, along with the passing out, the passing out on an office chair, the passing out on a couch that had been going on for at least six months solid. I never slept in the daytime. I never took naps and those things were happening randomly. That disappeared. What transpired between February 8th when I got the biopsy call to May 8th when I started treatment, those three months is I went pure pescatarian, plant-based lifestyle. I ate from the earth. Not that I don't eat any process whatsoever. I pretty much only eat less than 1%. 99% of my lifestyle comes from the earth. And even though prior to February 8, 2023, I lived a very nutrient dense lifestyle, I still consumed alcohol. I still ate some select process or manufactured food. Um, and, and, I, and I would even inhale cannabinoids. After February 8th, on February 9th, the morning of 2023, is when I kicked in the pescatarian plant-based lifestyle. From that moment on, my my process or manufactured consumptions are bottled water, for example. Pecorino Romano cheese I eat. That's pretty much the only cheese that I eat. Why? Because the studies are there. It's extremely healthy for you. Those are the type of process that I consume. Otherwise, it comes from the earth, it comes from the ocean. It's pure plant-based pescatarian lifestyle. Why did I choose that lifestyle? Years of, of education from 2017 on, I knew that the longest living, most vibrant, those that do not depend on medical and medical systems are those that are pure plant-based that eat the least. Right below that, it would be more realistic for me, was a pure plant-based pescatarian lifestyle. So those that live in pure plant-based pescatarian lifestyle are some of the most longest living, most vibrant people on earth. I chose that lifestyle and the proof is in the pudding, the healthy puddings. Like the, like I just mentioned it, my lint nodes, golf ball size disappeared, night sweats disappeared, the random passing out. Am I still tired because of my cancer? My, if you look at my blood work, if you follow my blood work, if you look at my anemia, I should be on my ass. I should be on my back, but I'm not. I work long hours, I put physical days in, I still work out every day, sometimes do workouts a day, and I'm not on my ass, I'm not on my back, and I truly attribute it to the pure living off the earth lifestyle. The, the, what it does for the mind, what it does for the body is mind boggling. Now, as of May 8th, February, sorry, May 8th of 2023, I combined it with modern medication. We'll see where it takes me, but I can tell you now, I can speak the truth, and I can speak from knowledge, training, and experience here that living a pure plant-based, nutrient-dense, living from the sea or living from the earth lifestyle is very healthy for you. That is true health. So from me to you, if you're suffering from cancer, if you're suffering from chronic illnesses, if you're suffering from anything, elevate your lifestyle to as much from the earth as possible and you will see the differences. Big healthy hugs from me to you.